M0 FXV. Welcome back to my videos on the Yaesu VX7R tri-band submersible transceiver wideband receiver. So these came out many, many years ago. If we look at the rig picks listing, the release date is, and it's an average, but it says 2002. And within this link, you've got the user manual, the service manual. So I really recommend rig picks and it's saying here it goes up to in Europe a thousand megahertz so wow uh, and it actually does transmit on on six meters so you can talk on a six meter band quite a few accessories for this and I've noticed you can buy the battery second hand for around 20 pound there's an AA you know battery holding case as well BNC adapter the drop-in charger was only about 20 pound second hand and software oh yeah, there's a barometric pressure sensor you can put in they're quite pricey um the software looks like in the uk i would say rt systems is probably your best choice but there is a free version here uh, massive thanks to let's get the right call sign kilo charlie eight uniform november juliet thank you very much for your software and there's more than one version of Yesu radios that is covered within this software, but this is a VX7 and I did uh, just have a quick look and it looks like this. So dig it out, you know, if you haven't, if you've got it in the cupboard, you haven't used it for years, dig it out. These old sets, they're actually very popular. They still fetch quite good money. You can import from your VX5, your VX2. I've got the VX3 here. Uh, move, edit, view, I'm just looking at the settings, auto shift, use alternate GUI, what's that? Let's try it. Ooh, very nice. Uh, so, it'd be good if you could actually see the screen on the, on, on the PC, that would be great, wouldn't it? Okay, well, and obviously memories, VX7 settings there, transfer, read and write, and then some advanced settings there. So we're not gonna do programming now, so have you got one of these? I bet you you had one because nearly every ham I know got a VX7 because when it came out, it was the best handheld you could get. Or, you know, that and plus the Kenwood model was very good as well, wasn't it? My memory tells me that that was uh, excellent. So wide band coverage, yes, air band, probably PMR marine bands, alloy case that we're seeing here as well. It, it is advertised as a as submersible, um, ARTS, so that uses your DCS code to send to another radio running the same DCS, and then you can see how far you are away from each other. The front LED, which does go red and green on receive, but it's also white as a torch, you know, it's better than nothing. And you've got some nice images there you can put on the screen, which make it look, you know, at the time was ahead of its time. You can choose between different signal meters and there's your full scrobe look. Uh, it actually has met several colors for different functions. 24 hour clock, audio, wave meter. It has sort of a scope, doesn't it? There's your icon changing. 40 programmable memory scan, PMS band limits. 450 memories, weather band, hyper memories, marine channel, so there you are. <coughs> and shortwave frequencies. So I know it's an old one, but you know, they don't make them like they used to. And uh, it's, it was a very, you know, the design that they chose, very rugged. And you even like, I think I had the silver one, but the black's the one I'll be testing. Second hand, 150 pounds and upwards, I would say, if you're lucky, less. Um, and try and get one that's in, in nice condition in a box. This is the sort of Yesu listing on the left here. And you've got the, the power supply and external mic mh57 that says so i'll put the links in the description uh, please let me know your experience do you miss it is it any good would it be popular now if they brought this back to the market now and started selling it now would uh would you know would many people buy it i actually think they would i feel like if you've got the design right then it's gonna sell and yeah they could bring out I know we've got the the Yesu uh, Viet. Let me get it right. Yesu, I've got one here. Actually, I'll grab it. Is there any power in it? Oh, it's flat. But I've got it here. It's the Yesu FT5D. Of course, fantastic device. 
APRS and Bluetooth color screen. But you know, as we're learning, and you can see that um, ICOM and Yaesu are starting to bring out radios that look more retro, because sometimes we just want it to look like a boring radio. And I think that's part of the reason why we like things like the, um, the UVK5, you know, 20 odd pound, a boring plain screen, but with lots of information on it, with packed with functionality. And this thing, I think, goes up to 1200 megahertz and receives airband really well. And it's 20 quid, come on. So sometimes we just want it simple. I'm not saying we don't want SDR radios and the modern stuff that's being made by all the big companies, Kenwood, Icom, Yesu and others. Yeah, but we don't only want that. So anyway, what to, let me know your, uh, your memory of your Yesu VX7. Of course, I'll be making loads of videos, adding memories, repeaters, uh, taking advantage of any free software out there and trying to get the, the most out of it. I'm not seeing anything that even mentions GPS, so I would say there's no GPS in this device, but full keypad on the front. You can see the alphanumeric and number keypad numbers, VFO, memory, monitor, you've got a function button, change bands, very similar to my VX2 and I'll, I'll, I'll be putting them side by side. Yes, of course I've got my VX2 and I've got the clone and I think they're brilliant, brilliant little, I wouldn't be without it. And yeah, I've got hundreds of radios here, but everyone pick it up for 10 minutes, maybe an hour, go out, have a little tinker, then pick up another one. That's the fun of radio and I, I'll keep saying this, the more radios that you have, the better your hobby will get. Don't say to yourself, don't treat it like buying bags of sugar. Oh, we don't need sugar at the moment. It's not like that. It's a hobby. You know, if you're a fisherman, you buy lots of fishing rods and tackle and, you know, that kind of thing. It's a hobby. You don't, it's not shopping. It's not essential shopping where you're trying to budget and, you know, this is a fun hobby. Buy as many radios as you can afford, 7-3.